Comparative psychology is the scientific study of the behavior and mental processes of human and non-human animals. This field seeks to understand the similarities and differences in behavior across species, contributing to our knowledge of evolutionary processes. Comparative psychology originated in the late 19th century, influenced by the work of Charles Darwin and his theory of evolution. Darwin's observations on the similarities between human and animal behaviors laid the groundwork for this field. Early researchers conducted studies on animal intelligence and behavior, further establishing comparative psychology as a distinct scientific discipline. Key concepts in comparative psychology? The first key concept is ethology. Ethology is the study of animal behavior in natural environments. This concept emphasizes observing animals in their natural habitats to understand how their behaviors have evolved and adapted over time. Ethologists study a wide range of behaviors, from mating rituals to social structures, providing insights into the adaptive significance of these behaviors. The second key concept is the comparative method. This involves comparing the behaviors of different species to identify patterns and determine the evolutionary relationships among them. By examining similarities and differences in behavior, researchers can infer the evolutionary pathways that have shaped these behaviors. This method helps to understand how certain traits have evolved and adapted in response to environmental pressures. Strengths of comparative psychology. One significant strength of comparative psychology is its contribution to evolutionary theory. By studying the behaviors of different species, Comparative psychologists provide evidence for evolutionary processes and help to understand how behaviors have adapted to different environments. This enhances our understanding of the natural world and the mechanisms driving evolution. Another strength is the practical applications of comparative research. Findings from comparative psychology can inform various fields, such as animal welfare, conservation, and human psychology. For example, understanding animal behavior can improve conservation efforts by identifying the needs and habits of endangered species. Additionally, insights into animal behavior can enhance our understanding of human behavior, particularly in areas like developmental psychology and neurobiology. Despite its strengths, comparative psychology faces criticisms. One criticism is the anthropomorphism bias. Researchers may unintentionally attribute human characteristics to animals, leading to inaccurate interpretations of animal behavior. This can skew research findings and limit the validity of conclusions drawn from comparative studies. Another criticism is the ethical concerns surrounding animal research. Ensuring ethical standards and humane treatment of animals while studying them is crucial, but it can also complicate the design and implementation of research studies. For students, I recommend reading my detailed guide on comparative psychology. I've left that in the pinned comment. You can also watch one of my other psychology videos I've selected for you. They're on the screen now.